I am with Lois Watson, who lives in Kelloggsville. And how many years now have you been down here with your family hosting the State Road Covered Bridge? 22 years 22 we've done years. it. Mm -hmm. And how did you um, end up here in the first place? Was this your idea? I'm not sure whose idea it was in the first place. So we just maybe it was a joint effort. I'm not sure. Between and you then, and? Uh, just the family, my husband and the children. Was there an all call that went out for volunteers or you just did it on your own? We, How did We just uh, did it. We started, actually, we started it kind of through our uh, Sunday school pro project. Oh, and then uh, okay. and then it's turned into a family project. The very first year we did it, we had the Root Road Bridge. Mm -hmm. And then since then, we've had this bridge. And, and all, why did you switch? You had Root Road first. What, what because This one wasn't available that year What we started. Oh. This one became available. And, uh, is this your favorite bridge? Oh, yes. This is my favorite bridge in the whole county. <laughs> okay. And, and, and uh, why? I know a lot of people have favorite bridges. What uh, do you like the best about it? it well, it's it's beautiful, and uh, the setting is beautiful, and it's uh, it's close to our home, so mm -hmm. it's kind of our home bridge. Okay. And uh, we every year we pick a charity that we donate our money to, and we just do it as a family project, and we have donated to several different charities through the years. And who is receiving the, the, uh, the money this year? This year is uh, birth care from Ashtabula County. Have you ever run out of charities or do you do, oh, no. like, do you rotate them or how do you, how do you pick one? Uh, for several years we chose uh, different cancer charities because one of our original ladies had uh, passed away with mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had done that some years and we've done Christian broadcasting stations, mm -hmm. the radio stations. And uh, I believe we did Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. We just kind of pick if someone has a particular one that they're fond of or for some particular reason that year we choose that. But uh, And we've uh, gotten interested in uh, one of our girls has been interested in the right to life and the birth care. And so that was how we've gotten to that one now. Okay. So who provide, who makes all these wonderful, yummy looking <laughs> Cookies, brownies, biscuits, all these yummy things oh, back here. Uh, my daughters-in-law and granddaughters and, and some of our, our extended family also. Do you, do you make any of that? I make the pie, or made the pies this year. I'm not the only one that can make the pies, but I this year I made pies, which are all gone I was going to say, I don't see gone. any, so they must be all gone. Do, gone. They, do those go first? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um do they start real early? Like people who make Christmas cookies will often start baking um, December 1st. How early do yeah. do people start I'm making things? I'm not sure of that. You'll have to ask the girls. Uh, but <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't think that they do, though. I think they're pretty well organized, and they just know what they're going to do, and they just get busy and do it. Okay. So what time did you come down here this morning? This is the first day of the festival. Yeah. What time did you come I, I don't. I didn't come until about 9.30, but they were here earlier than that. I'm not sure what time they came with the camper, but before my son went to work, he okay. brought the camper, and then he went off to work. So. And then you have to take all this down at night, don't you, and then come back tomorrow morning and set it all up again? I'm not sure if they're going to take it down, if they're going to leave tonight or something. Will somebody stay here? There have been times when they've stayed overnight, and they may be staying tonight. I'm not real sure what their plan is. Well, I know at some of the other bridges where people aren't staying all night, they have to take everything down, take it home, and then bring it back the next morning. But you're right, if you've got the trailer here, that kind of that kind of helps that. But mm -hmm. it must be pretty deserted and quiet. Is it spooky <laughs> at all than when you're down here at night by yourself? I've only stayed one night. And <laughs> I think it can get kind of spooky down here at night. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you just greet people all day and mm -hmm. say hi? And does the time go fast? Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, it's fun talking to people and see he who's here and sometimes we see people that we know and sometimes we meet new people and uh, do you have people who come back year after year and you see them every year at the bridge festival and they know who you are you have some yes uh-huh in the yep and and how what's the greatest distance that somebody has traveled today to get here that you know uh, of that you've talked to like has oh. anybody been here from Alaska or California or this year? This year. This year? I'll, I'll, I'll ask you, yeah, this year and if you want to go back a couple of years. I actually haven't talked to anyone today who had come from any distance, I don't believe. But, uh, but we have in the past had some, I believe that one year we had someone from California who wanted a state road covered bridge cup and we didn't, or mug. Oh. And we didn't have one right at that point, so I made arrangements and they mailed it to him later on. Well, that's great. So 
it's just fun for you to be down here, It's just huh? fun. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. have no plans to retire, or the family's still going to oh, keep no, doing I this for years? Gonna keep doing it. The, they've pretty much taken over all that big work now, so <laughs> I just <laughs> kind of come along for fun. And Well, and, and you do the beautiful um, setup of the little photo opportunity over there that everybody seems, everybody, oh. every group that's been here since I've been down here for the last, you know, half hour or so, they're and all taking it. Do you get that your that picture taken in front of that every year, too? Oh, well, I did have it taken with a little girl friend of mine, this year, <laughs> a little girl who came. Uh, Don just built that this year, and uh, that bug board is new, yeah. I know, uh, it's very, very nice. Yes, uh-huh. And um, he's behind the camera. If he were in front of the camera, he might be able to tell us a little bit about it. Maybe he will in a few minutes, but uh, maybe you could hold the camera and he could talk. I could try that. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for doing this. It's absolutely wonderful. I think it's great. Thank you. Okay, thanks to the magic of a tripod, I'm going to be talking to Don Watson about this beautiful buckboard that you built, which is serving as a um, backdrop for people who want to take a picture at the State Road Covered Bridge as part of the Ashtabula County Covered Bridge Festival. So now, I talked to you earlier this week, and you said, oh, no, it's not going to be very lavish this year. I'm cutting back, blah, 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 blah. And I get here today, and it is absolutely beautiful. So tell me all about how long it took you to build this and, and how you filled it and all that? Well, <laughs> it's not, I don't know if we have enough time to tell you all of that, but uh, it, it is different than the displays we've had over the past years. Not only this display for the photo opportunities, but the information display is also different. The big thing was uh, the amount of time that it takes to set up and tear down the displays. That's why you said you didn't know what you were going to do this year, right? Yes. In terms of this. Okay. And until this past week, I didn't know what I was going to do for sure for wheels. The wheels on this are, are a story in itself, to me anyways. But uh, the wheels that, come, that were described in the kit that you had to plan for, is this is a Winfield Collection uh, kit, or not a kit, but uh, you get the drawing. And and how did you get that? Where'd it's a mail order. So you had it in your head. You had some idea what you wanted to do because you said it came. It was mail order, so you had to know what to order. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess I don't know for sure where I, I saw it in the first place, but I am not much. I'm new to woodworking. My dad was a woodworker, mm -hmm. and uh, he had bought me a, uh, a router, a table router, and I never opened it. He, he told me you know, a number of times, you know, have you opened it? What do you think about it? And I opened it and I started doing some other things. And then I just finally decided, well, I was ready to tackle this. And it might not look to you, the, you know, if anybody knows routers and, and sees what I did here, you might wonder, well, why did you use a router on that? Router is usually used on cabinets and things a little bit fancier than, than a cedar buckboard wagon. Mm -hmm. But I did use it. I made templates, and then I was able to cut using the templates. And I guess I should say the templates of the templates. Uh -huh. The, the um, mail order template was laid on a piece of lighter, easier to cut wood, and then it was put on here, one to help save some of the better wood. Uh, the wheels. The wheels were purchased by my mom and dad at a uh, yard sale. Somewhere when they were out traveling uh, uh, northwest Ohio, they saw them in a yard sale. This so about got to be some years ago because your dad has to, since died. Right. So, yeah. Right. And after he got them, I don't know what the plan was, and Mom couldn't remember the plan that he had for the wheels, mm -hmm. but he never used them. They just sat, and they sat outside, and they just were there for the longest time. And as I was doing this, and I kept putting off the project because I didn't know what to do for wheels. I didn't know the router well enough to do what I wanted to do with the router to make the wheels, and I just put it off, put it off, but I knew that I wanted to do something for a display different here. Again, because everything that I did before was set out on the ground, so everything had to be set out, and then we and picked it up. a lot of hay bales, wasn't it, as I remember? Yes. Okay, okay. And we do still have two of the straw bales around okay. the side, but the interesting thing of this display is it's more elevated than the other one so i don't know that anyone has sat on the bales to get their picture okay. and i did purposely put them kind of around the corner because i didn't want to block the wagon <laughs> i like i like looking at the wagon they like looking at the wagon yeah. yeah so how long did it take you to build the wagon that is a real good question i don't know that i 
really kept track so it was of just like here and there whenever you had a spare moment yeah like, was it within the last month within the last month within, within the yeah. last week you're kind of <laughs> laughing within the last week probably within the last couple of weeks it's beautiful it really uh, is. when did it when did it occur to you to, that those old wheels were sitting around doing nothing like when did that come into your head to use them i don't really know for sure i guess probably as time got closer and closer uh -huh. And I, one of the reasons why I didn't want to use them is they are smaller wheels than what the plan called for. And I thought, well, they're not going to meet or match up with the uh, dimensions of the wagon. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, they met up with the dimensions of the wagon re I think really your well. I had something to do with it. I really do. <laughs> this, must, this must have been the plan that he had for those wheels, and we just didn't know it at the time. I think so. So you got the wagon done, and then how did you decide how to fill it? And, and, and did you have to go out and buy all the flowers and pumpkins and all that? The pumpkins were ours from our garden at home. Okay. Uh, interesting thing is every year, if you leave enough pumpkins out in the garden and rototill them under and then watch for them in the springtime, you have your own pumpkins. Oh, <laughs> and so okay. these are the volunteers, some of the volunteers that came up this year. Okay. The purple bums are ours. They came from uh, a few years back. We, I like the purple mums took them home, planted them, and they came back up, and then we split them off. And mm -hmm. so the purple ones are from our house. The yellow ones we had to purchase locally because I did have yellow ones at home, but I that's one uh, thing that I need to work on a little bit more as far as planting them in pots and getting them ready to be on display. They're real nice display in the yard, but mm -hmm. they don't work well in a wagon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how about the, um, the straw figures? How about those? Uh, not really much of a story, I guess, behind the straw figures. Have we you just had those here other years, yes. so they so they came back. Yes. And then I know the sign that says Ashtabula County Covered Bridge Festival that has been here before, and the leaves you've had those here before. Yeah, and the yeah. the uh, Covered Bridge Festival sign is something that we acquired as being uh, from being here 22 years. Somewhere in the past, I believe all the bridges got one of those, oh, okay. and uh, we just hung on to ours and yeah. it keeps making a return visit yeah but i mean it's such a popular spot everybody who comes they park their cars and they all come up here and take pictures it, it, everybody. it was everybody. pretty neat uh, we we did have to wait five ten minutes maybe for the last group to to finally finish finish but uh but it's so picturesque it, it just really is so picturesque and it's just it's just great it's yes. just, it's, of course it's, it's, i think a lot of people don't miss state road just because they have you have all this wonderful stuff here yeah yeah i don't i don't and food and food we've talked to your mom about the food though so yeah. yeah i i don't know for sure of course we have as mom says we got a pretty nice looking bridge yeah. behind us and so that helps things a lot too yeah. but i'm sure it's a lot of fun so it will be back next year as far as i know if it makes the ride home and back <laughs> it'll be fine okay thank you so much we really appreciate it you're welcome thank you okay Hi, we're at this, the Ashtabula County Covered Bridge Festival. We're down here at the State Road Covered Bridge in Conneaut, and we are with... Fran. And... Jim. Thompson. And where are you from? Jefferson. Now, I have been talking to people quite a bit today. You're the first local couple that I have, that I have um, met up with. And why, why do you take this opportunity to come see the bridges in Ashtabula County when they're open to you 365 days a year? Well, we do it other days, too, but we come with a bunch of our car friends and our old our antique cars or street rods, and we just have a good day at it. And okay. And how many people are with your club who are touring today? There's probably about 10, group, 10 of us here. Okay. So you meet in Jefferson? Is that where you start we out? Start at the, covered, or the festival in Jefferson. So you did some of the festival activities? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have any bean soup? I didn't today. We got there a little late. Okay. I always love their bean oh, well, soup. Yeah. Good bean soup. And then how many bridges have you seen so far? Mm. Four or five, I don't know, yeah. Okay, and you stop at each one and walk through, and, and uh, do you buy anything? Oh, yes. We eat at each one. <laughs> no wonder you didn't need any we bean soup. We drink uh, or cider and have a good time. Yeah. It's probably our last event of the season you know yeah so do you have a favorite bridge i like doyle road 
that's where our sons grew up at. Uh -huh. You know, and they would go down there and play and fish and. Have you seen that one this today? Have you been down there? Yet. Is that your last stop? Could be. Okay. I probably maybe just us go there on our own. But okay. are you natives of Ashtabula County? Yes. Okay. So you've grown up with all with a lot of the bridges. Yeah. Somebody that I talked to a while ago from Lancaster asked why we have so many bridges in Ashtabula County. So if somebody had asked you that question, what would you say? I would tell them that my brother-in-law. Was a, worked with John Smolin at the engineer's okay. office, and he and another fellow said that we should preserve our covered bridges. Mm -hmm. And so I think between the three of them, that is what has gotten this kind of going. Yeah. And I'm, um, they're not here. They've already left. Fairfield County, where they live, has a lot of covered bridges, but they wanted to come up today and see ours, and they've been very, very impressed. So, And we know we don't have to impress you because you live here. So, okay. so it's great weather today and you're having a good time yes it's beautiful weather and we are having a good time okay. thank you so much thank you okay we are still at the state road covered bridge and this is nancy valen and um you are among a group of cyclists that came through just a few minutes ago and said that you would be willing to talk to us on conniac cable tv so um where did you start uh we started on gore road in conniac this uh afternoon what, at how far up like by the lake or uh, how oh yeah 10 miles away from here we started. right but i mean how far up on gore or how how far uh, Really near Pen Pennsylvania Road and in, in uh, Pennsylvania, Avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue, yeah, on Gore okay, Road, okay. in the North Kingsville part. Okay. And what time did you start, and how long did it take you to get down we to State Road? At uh, twenty after three, okay. and it took us about an hour. Is this? Did you stop at another bridge before you got here? Uh, yes, yeah. we, we we went over Creek Road Bridge okay. and stopped and visited there, and now did we're you eat over there. there? Hot dogs, um, hamburgers, and all that that, there's, that they're fixing over there? Uh, no. 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 Uh, did you buy any of the jewelry that was for sale there? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. It, it didn't go with my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so you still, So what prompted you to get out and do this today? Was this planned ahead of time yes, and you hoped that it was going to... a planned event okay. because we're part of the Ashtabula Tuesday Bicycle Club. And who, and who are the Ashtabula Tuesday Bicycle Club? We're a group of people that started 25 years ago and we meet and we travel all through Ashtabula County. This morning we did 25 miles and three bridges and we started at in Austinburg and we did three we did Giddings, Doyle and um, Netcher Road Bridge this morning. Okay. And, we did and then Oh, you ate that. Well, then, and then, but you didn't start this ride till 3.15, right. so did you take a nap in the meantime, or what? <laughs> no. no, we're actually planning a, a, a huge bonfire and picnic this evening. And where's that going? Uh, wow. At 4272 Gore Road, Ron Schrader. Don't air till Wednesday. You don't need to air, worry that anyone's going to show up. Maybe me, but that'd be all. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you said you're the Ashtabula Tuesday Bicycle Club, but this is not Tuesday, so explain that to me. Because at the end of the season, we do a grand finale bike uh -huh. ride to enjoy, uh, like, the uh, final ending of the our bicycle season before the snow. Okay, and when does the season start? Or does uh, that depend on the snow, too? Well, uh, it does, <laughs> but uh, we start every April, and we ride on the Metro Parks Greenway Trail and get our conditioning in uh -huh. until we are a little bit more um, conditioned, uh -huh. and then we ride, uh, at our rides start at different start locations through the county. But mostly on the weekends, I take it, or is it all no, any No, no, it's always on Tuesdays at 6 o'clock, uh -huh. and then we have different uh, start locations, and, okay. and then the end of the road, and sometimes we pick up rides and I do different volunteer rides all over the, the country all over the, uh, Ashtabula and Ohio. Did you um, by any chance ride in the United Way uh, ride back in August? Yes I did the Bridges and Vines. Yes. I probably yes. saw you there. Yeah. Um, so how many miles have you done today because you said you rode this morning um, and then you're riding again this afternoon. About 40 miles right now. Okay. Yeah. Is this your last bridge of of the day? Yes. Mm -hmm. so you're not doing middle or anything like that? No. Okay, and so you're riding from here back up to well, the start? we ride up here and then circle around uh, back over to uh, f right Route 531 and then get up to uh, Lake Road. Yeah, Lake Road. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, is this one of your favorite weekends to come out yeah. and ride just because of the festival? Although actually the bridges are always here. Yeah. This this is awesome because they have them decorated. We talk to people. We see people who come from 
long distances to come here. I mean, we meet people, we just, uh, like the the motorcycle people come and you, you just talk and you find out uh, these ladies from Erie came today. So, yeah, I mean, we just meet a lot of people to do these rides. Now, are they part of your club? No. no well, okay. <laughs> Guess what? Um, who wants to talk? You're from Erie? You're from Erie. You're from Kingsville. Okay. Who? Okay. Well, well, uh, these are easy questions. <laughs> What's your name? Lydia Shimenti. And so how did you end up in this group today? You're here from Erie, so how did you end up in this group? Marcy did because we met, or she met she him uh -huh. on D-Day when you had that celebration here. You were at D-Day? Did you ride over to, did you ride your bikes over to D-Day? No, we, we drove over for the D-Day. On one day or two days? Uh, one day, but Marcy was there the day before, and that's okay. how she met two. them. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. And so they said to come and join you? Right, join the club. Um, we got emails from Nancy to ride with them on a uh, Tuesday evening, but we haven't had a chance except today. This is our first time meeting them and being on this great ride with them. So are you having fun? We are. We are. <laughs> then there's a bonfire to look forward to afterwards. Yeah, so there's a lot of desserts over there you could buy and take up to the bonfire if you're needing any food. I could just put, oh, plant idea. that a bug in your ear. Um, so had you been to any of Ashtabula County's covered bridges before today? No, not today, but in the past. I've gone with an Erie bicycle group, yeah. right, to okay. some of your covered bridges. Okay. And I was just here at Marco maybe a month ago, and we walked to this covered bridge from Marco. Well, thanks so much. Thanks for talking to us, and have a great rest of the day. Enjoy that bonfire. Thank okay. You. Okay, yeah. thanks. We're at the brand new Buckboard, handmade by Don Watson. Order yours right now for Christmas. <laughs> it's beautiful. You could sell these things. It is beautiful. Operators are standing by. Call today. <laughs>